If you're struggling to figure out how to exercise without nagging back pain, then this podcast might be for you. I'm going to show on the video my entire 50-minute workout that I do with clients in just five minutes so you can get an idea of how I do it. And at the same time, I'll discuss a few pain-free concepts, tell some stories, and generally just give you the information that you need in order to achieve your fitness goals without the no pain, no gain philosophy. Welcome to this unique podcast where I show you this full 50 minute workout in just five minutes. Each episode, we talk about one specific pain free concept that will get you moving better and feeling good. All the exercises are in the description. Imagine being able to move freely without the constant ache in your back. After incorporating pain free exercises, you could get back to doing things just like that, things that you love doing without discomfort. So it's about transforming your life so that you're not held back by pain like I was for so long. I was injured when I was 14 and I had a constant low level back pain until I was about 24 when I started to learn these exercises, implement them and really make that turnaround. And this change can apply to anyone, including you. And I've seen several thousand people over the 20 years that I've been a trainer. So I'm confident in saying that, that these exercises can help you as well. I'm Chris Jenke, and I've had 20 years of experience helping people just like you eliminate pain with stretches and gentle exercises. And uh, one of the key aspects of pain-free fitness, let's get into this now as we're going through, this first part is called the muscle balance part. Um, And you notice the timer is at about seven minutes left. The next part will be the core part, which will be a little bit less time. But uh, we follow a four-part strategy here. So one of the key aspects of pain-free fitness is understanding the importance of gentle movements. Now, it's one thing to say it, and it's another thing to practice it. But often when people have back pain, they think that they need to avoid exercise altogether. And this is actually the opposite of what you should do. Many people who do have back pain in the modern life, you know, the year 2024, it's not because we do too much. It's actually because we don't do enough. Our bodies were meant to move. Um, but we just don't do enough. We sit, we watch TV, we, you know, type to the computer. Okay, here's the next level. Here's the next section, as you can see, core. So we're doing a little more dynamic stuff here. But we really were designed to move, you know, and uh, different theories as far as how much movement. But my assessment is that 30 to 60 minutes a day is plenty. And that doesn't mean 30 to 60 minutes of working out. It just means gentle, full range of motion exercise. Another very, very critical component is consistency. So it's not about doing really intense workouts sporadically, but about incorporating gentle exercises into your daily routine. So if you told me, hey, I'm going to get really fit, I'm going to do these two workouts per week for an hour and a half each time, it's going to be really intense. I'd say, hey, why don't we just try to squeeze 20 minutes every single day into your routine and see if we could build from there that really has more of an impact and eventually intensity will develop. If you start with consistency, you will eventually become uh, more intense with your workout. I recommend starting with exercises that target the core, which is what we just finished. This one actually is technically in the weightlifting unit, but it is actually a core exercise. Notice how I lift up the leg in the back as I'm doing that tricep extension. Same thing here, we're doing bicep curls in uh, an isolation version. You can do this entire workout. Now check this out, yoga weightlifting right here. We're doing like a side triangle type thing right there. Wait, right there. So some balance, some core, some weights, everything all at once. So we're really, really targeting all the modalities of the body. So, right, we have flexibility and muscle balance. We have core, which includes abs, back, and obliques. We have weights, which is what I'm doing here. And notice when I lift my legs like that, I'm also incorporating some core. And then lastly, the last section is full range of motion cardio. Now, I think walking and some light jogging, those are some great forms of cardio. So if you do that, keep it up. This is all full range of motion cardio where you're moving. So see this first one right here, one leg, and we're doing a row, right? So the heart rate's starting to get up. 
breathing exercises can also play a really good role in pain-free fitness, getting that deep diaphragmatic breath. I talk about that a lot in that first section, that first 20 minutes, because that's all about reducing tension, getting rid of muscle aches, other things, you know, hydration, of course, rest and recovery. Those are all super, super important. So a holistic program. I post regular workouts here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just like this, where I talk about a pain-free concept as you're watching me work out exercise list in the description, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I have a 30 day program as well. The link is down in the description. Check that out for one workout every day for 30 days.